Hey, Jaime here, back at it again with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna show with you the ins and outs of a 10 hour workday. Now, I don't always work 10 hours a day. I'm very fortunate to have my main online business, which is my social media marketing agency, pretty much run on autopilot at this point. Uh, my sales and outreach are completely automated at this point. All I have to do is jump on sales calls. Uh, my service delivery is taken care of by an A team, but there are periods of the year, like the one we're currently at, and that's the reason why I'm motivated to create this video where it's a bit hectic, right? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, Christmas season is approaching and that's a really busy season for e-commerce brands. And well, if you're not new to my channel, you obviously know that we serve e-commerce businesses and we transform them into market leaders by scaling them to seven and eight figures in monthly revenue. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I structure my day to minimize distractions and to maximize productivity and output to just completely crush it in this period and onwards. So if you are interested in that, all you gotta do is keep on watching. Now there are three very distinct parts of my day. The first one is the morning, the second one is the afternoon, and the last one is the evening. And I'm pretty sure that's the case with most people, but essentially the first thing that I wanna focus on is the morning. And the reason why I say that is because after trying out a ton of different things, right? Working at night, working in the afternoon, uh, you know, waking up at ungodly hours and, you know, waking up at like 4 a.m. and trying uh, to work then. I've come to realize that if you conquer your morning, you're pretty much 90% there to having an incredibly successful day. So for me, the morning work block is by far the most important one. And it consists of four hours of deep focus work. And it goes from 7 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The reason why that is, is because I have two breaks of 15 minutes each, okay? So essentially what I will do is I will wake up at 6 a.m. Then I'll have my power hour, which I can make a whole video on. I'm not sure if anyone would actually be interested, but if you're a nerd like me when it comes to productivity and focus, then that might be of value. But essentially I have my power hour where I get a bunch of things Things like my meditation done, um, I do a bit of stretching, I drink a lot of water, uh, etc, etc, and then I get straight into work. And so before I even start work, I've already planned out what I need to get done in those four hours. And that time, this is incredibly important, that time is only reserved for big projects and deep work, stuff that is really going to move the needle forward. Um, it's not reserved for admin work. I'm not gonna go ahead and, and you know answer a bunch of DMs or answer my emails. I'm gonna go straight into the biggest task, into the task that requires most um, you know mental power, uh, and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and tackle the most important task for the day then and there. Because if I don't, the chaos of the afternoon, which I'll talk about in just a second, will rule my day. Okay, so it's very important that you reserve that time only for deep focus work and for big projects. And what makes a big project a big project? Usually a big project Essentially, you're not going to be able to uh, to fit in three different projects into those four hours. If you are, if you're doing that, then those projects are not big projects. Usually a big project requires all your time, all your energy, all your focus. And usually the maximum number of things that you work on during that morning work block will be max two things, right? Again, it's very important that you're not doing menial tasks here and there. So essentially that is what I set out to accomplish within my morning work block. And here's a list of things that I say no to. Number one, no phone. I will not even look at my phone. I'm not even talking just like holding my phone, not even look at my phone because I don't use my uh, phone as an alarm clock. The next thing is I'm not eating before work. Um, there's a lot of studies that have been done. Essentially, when you eat, uh, a lot of energy goes into digesting that food and all that energy that goes into digesting your food, you're not using for your mental power, okay? And so it's gonna make you sloppy and it's gonna make you more tired. And for that morning work block, you need all the energy and all, and all the focus that you can garner. So that is a second thing that I say no to. The third thing that I say no to is no menial tasks, right? Again, going back to that rule of no small tasks, only big projects. You do not wanna be doing menial tasks like checking your email or replying to this person and that person, you're just focused on your big projects. The third thing that I say no to is no distracting websites. So you can use a bunch of different blockers like Freedom, Cold Turkey uh, to block out websites like YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. And so you will not be distracted by those websites. I've got a whole video walking you through how I set up this machine, my laptop, and turn it into a productivity monster. And uh, is this video right here. You guys can check it out after this video. And the final thing that I say yes to, and is absolutely vital, is planning tomorrow, today, right? So before you actually sit at your desk, you should already have a very clear plan as, as to what you're gonna be doing. I've had those days where I've gone into the day without having a clear plan and structure, and I can assure you I've not been as productive because I sit at my desk and I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? And it's gonna take me, you know, 15 to even 20 minutes to get crystal clear on the number one priority. And by that time, I've already lost momentum and I'm checking my email and then essentially I find it very, very hard to get into that deep focus work uh, state. So that is my morning work block. Now to the second work block, which is what I call the chaos of the afternoon. And in this case, it's not about conquering the afternoon like we do for our morning. 
It's just dealing with the chaos of the afternoon. And the reason why I say that is because if your plan is to get a lot of work done in the afternoon, that's probably not gonna happen. And the reason why I say that is because in the afternoon, in most cases, other people's priorities will collide with your own priorities, right? And that is where we create a bunch of chaos and that is where you have to deal with it, okay? So the way I structure it is after I finish my morning work block, I will go ahead and I will hit the gym. I will do my activity for that day. I will come back home and then I will have lunch. And then from around, you know, half past two, to 6 p.m. That will be my afternoon work block. Now from 2.30 to 4 p.m. I'm doing admin tasks. I'm talking about email. I'm talking about talking to my team on Slack. I'm also talking about speaking to my students, uh, my one-to-one -one, uh, mentorship students, making sure that they're getting results, uh, seeing their wins, uh, just having a, a chat with them and making sure they're uh, well taken care of and they're on track to hitting that 10K a month mark. And then finally, if I have a bit of time on that uh, admin work block, I will go ahead and check my DMs on different platforms and then I will go ahead and reply. So that is essentially my admin work block. Uh, sometimes it will get cut in half, right? But essentially right after that, or just a bit before, I will go ahead and I will start my calls for that date. So I will have my student calls, I will have my sales calls, I will have my client calls. Uh, for example, I just got off a call with um, our Facebook rep for one of our clients, making sure that our Black Friday strategy is la creme de la creme. And then finally, if I'm doing an interview or if I'm going live on my free Facebook mastermind, I will also go ahead and do that. So that is my afternoon work block. Now, just a few things regarding this work block. It is engineered based on my energy levels. You have to understand that energy levels fluctuate um, during the day, right? So for example, after you wake up, that's where you have the most willpower and you also tend to be pretty high in terms of energy levels. Then you have another spike around 5 to 6 p.m. Obviously, it varies depending on your chronotype, if you are a night owl or you're a morning person, but essentially your energy levels fluctuate. Now, for most people, right after lunch, you have a bit of a trough, right? If you're eating well, primarily maybe keto or paleo, essentially, if you're not stuffing yourself with a lot of refined carbs or sugars, um, then the crash will not be as prominent, but you won't be as, as motivated or as creative right after lunch, right? So you need to understand the periods of the day where you're gonna be most productive because it's much better to understand your body and your energy levels than try to force yourself or feel bad because you're not as productive right after lunch, okay? So I, I basically structure my day in a way that it, it basically matches my chronotype and I understand the different energy levels during the day, okay? So that is my first tip regarding the afternoon. And the second thing is, the reason why I have all these goals uh, right after my admin work is because they basically keep me accountable, right? Uh, the great thing about having goals is that I cannot bail out on a call. Whereas if I have a big project to work on, I'm much more likely to procrastinate on it, uh, especially in the afternoon, uh, because there's no uh, clear pressure, right? There's no external pressure, and the motivation has to be more intrinsic. Whereas if I have a student uh, waiting for me, or I have a live that I need to attend, or if I have a sales call waiting for me, I can bet you I'm gonna show up to that call, and I'm also gonna bring my best energy to that call. Oh, and another thing that I do in the afternoon is I will go ahead and I will not forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you guys are enjoying this video in all seriousness, uh, go ahead and gently tap the like button, pop it down with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. So that is the chaos of the afternoon. After that, I will have dinner, and my final work block is what I call the creative me. And it goes from 7 p.m. to around 9, 9.30 p.m. And essentially what I do then is all my creative works. So I will summon all the energy that I have left. And that includes recording my TikToks, recording my YouTube videos, and uh, that's pretty much it. And the reason why I do that at night is number one, because I'm a morning person, I tend to be creative in the evening, right? And I tend to be very logical in the morning. Again, understanding yourself and having that self-awareness and understanding how your day develops. That's the first reason. And the second reason is all this stuff usually requires a phone a screen time, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my phone. And essentially when I have my phone in hand and I download TikTok, I'm probably gonna be tempted by a lot of distractions. So I don't want that happening in in the morning because then it's going to ruin my whole productivity right that is why i do my recordings in the evening and right after that i will go ahead and i will have around a 30 a minute um, kind of wind down. If I was looking to get the best quality of, uh, sleep of my life, it's, it's definitely very important to me, right? But if I was looking to get the absolute best uh, sleep of my uh, life, I would definitely uh, wind down way earlier um, than uh, just 30 minutes before bedtime because usually I have this big and bright uh, white light on me and uh, it's not great for uh, melatonin and, and all that. Uh, jazz. So that is essentially a fully scheduled workday. Some days I will not work as much as this. Some days I will have a four hour uh, workday and I could definitely do that. But quite honestly, I'm very grateful uh, to be in a uh, privileged position where I, I just love what I do and I don't really get tired of doing it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you took any tips, any value uh, away from it, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. Uh, YouTube just finds it extremely sexy when that gray like button turns blue uh, and it helps out with the algorithm. So I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, uh, personal finance, productivity, and a ton of really, really cool topics. 
are all designed to make you a better self, right? And to really get on your path to fulfill your full potential. So if you are interested in that, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free mastermind, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. And I'm going live in there to answer your questions. I'm doing free trainings in there and a bunch of other really, really cool exclusive events. So if you want to join that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.